The Yellowstone Supervolcano, located in northwestern Wyoming in the Yellowstone National Park, is one of the world's largest volcanoes. It erupted several times over the past 2.1 million years, including three massive eruptions that shattered everything around. The Yellowstone Caldera, a crater spanning 30 by 45 miles wide, formed during one of these eruptions, approximately 631,000 years ago, and is now home to two large reservoirs full of magma underneath, one of them about 3 to 10 miles beneath the surface, and another 12 to 30 miles below ground. Magma consists of crystals and rocks at various stages of solidity, and the more melted the magma is, the more likely is for a volcano to erupt. Based on previous research, scientists estimated that Caldera's shallower reservoir was mostly solid, with just 5 to 15 percent melted rock. However, by using powerful supercomputers to reanalyze seismic data from the past two decades, the researchers now believe that proportion to be in fact between 16 and 20 percent. Fortunately, this is still well below the threshold of liquid magma, about 35 to 50 percent, that experts think it may trigger an eruption. Although these findings suggest that the supervolcano is unlikely to erupt in the near future, the scientists warn that, if it does, it could blanket the United States in a nuclear winter, and may kill as many as 90,000 people almost instantly, while releasing a 10-foot-tall layer of molten ash 1,000 miles from the park.